Very good evening. So tomorrow, I think it's tomorrow late, Newcastle play their very first game of the American Tour. Now they're playing in three different cities and um, it is a chance for Darren Eels, our CEO, to gather connections on the other side of the pond. Uh, to help with the uh, finance of Newcastle United and to promote us to the big American uh, corporations over there. Now, I believe Joe Linton and um, Harvey Barnes are going to be flying out to join up with the squad. Wish them all well. And hopefully they can come back injury free. Now, uh, there is Adam Pearson who's out there. He was just on an interview before with Keith Downey of Sky Sports who now has his own channel as well. So like, there's a bonus. And um, like I say, I hope that they get enough um, practice on the pitch as it's pre-season to um, gel and to bond together because this season coming up is going to be the hardest season yet. And why it's going to be the hardest season is because last season we finished fourth. And uh, as many of you out there on YouTube know, I placed a bet and um, I backed what I said, basically. I said it in chat on many a different uh, YouTube channel. And I got ridiculed all the bits and uh, like I say, the bet came in. The food bank got £80. And a new season approaches. And I believe we're going to finish higher this season. And yes, it is going to be hard. It's going to be extremely hard. But here's the thing. If you believe 100% in your mind that you can, you will. It's as simple as that. Now, when we come back from the United States of America, we have the Sela Cup, which is over a weekend at St. James's Park. Now, my hopes of trying to get to Newcastle at this moment, they are non-existent. That is the honest truth. I hoped to claim, as many others have claimed, um, and I learned a lesson the other night, and that lesson was who you trust and who you share. So this season moving forward, there will be a change and the changes that will happen will be that some channels do not get a mention and like I say I have came off Twitter and tired of uh, everything that's happened you know I mean if uh, they don't believe that's fine you don't believe um, so moving forward um, this coming season from August through until May I'm going to go to a bookmakers in Nottingham and I'm going to ask behind the desk can you please give us a bit of help to sort out a bet 
and that bet is on our football club. And uh, I will show you a portion of the bet, but I won't show you the full bet. Because, as I say, what happened with their last bet, which was top four finish, not doing that again. Never, ever doing that again. Because at the end of the day, you didn't seem to appreciate and you didn't even follow it which it, uh, that, that purely staggered my brain because like I say um, I am a person who turns around and if I say I'm going to do something it is done now on another point um, Lloyd was mentioning this shirt this is the famous number, number 4 shirt and there is the number four bit, which was replaced with black. Now, I am not doing this shirt as an NFT. No, I'm not. But I am looking at a design similar, very similar, or the new V-neck. So I'm looking at two designs at the moment. And they will be blank. And that will be for NFT utility. And as I say, when that pops up, it will be 50-50 Newcastle United and me. And I will use my part of the money from the NFT utility for possible season ticket or depending on how much it makes something else to do with the club so the one thing i will say for newcastle moving forward is this i said this on um steve Wraith's show when he did the uh, fans forum and i was on the fans forum i believe this that what we need to do when we are playing in the Premier League or in the Champions League or we're playing in one of the Cups is we need to mix it up. So, like I say, during certain parts of any game, we need to be able to change tactics within that pure blink of an eye, a snap and change the formation so that we can progress up the pitch and our players we've got many players now who have the ability to put the ball in the back of the net so the thing is if we can change and work on how we are doing that change then the likelihood is we're going to win the game. And that means that we're going to rise within the Premier League. And that is from August, the weekend of August the 17th, I believe, when the Premier League starts, through to Christmas time. And I will try my best to get tickets. I will. But if I can't, I can't. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of other people also in the game. So, as I say, um, I will do my very best. And as I say to those people who did make threats, uh, there was two of them. And to those people, well, if you're going to make a, a threat, then at the end of the day, just be aware that there, there will be people watching. Just remember that. And as I said in my video, the one thing you do have to remember is the law. Is sometimes one punch, that's all it takes. 
you know. I'd rather come up to Newcastle, take in a match, and come back home. That's what I'd rather do. But as I say, there are parts of the Newcastle community who they don't want that. Well, sorry to tell you, but if I can get a ticket to come up to St James's Park, I will come up to St James's Park. And as I said, um, where the design is for the new shirt, we've already got the, the one for this season with Sela written on the front and um, how they've changed the, the got three kits at the minute but the designs I'm looking at will be beyond 25 and onwards and what I'll do is once I've finished the designs I will email the club as well as send them a letter with the plans of the design so that Darren Eels, uh, Peter Silverstone or somebody else at the club can look at them and say yes. So when you ask, saying about permissions, there you go. Uh, but like I say, this season coming up, 23-24, I believe Newcastle United will finish higher than fourth. So thanks very much for watching. And as I say, I will do my very best to do a report and um, I will try my very best to finish this. That is a, a song which I've tried to sing, uh, done 16 attempts today. And uh, I couldn't do it. It is. It's, it's rock solid. But it doesn't mean to say it because it's rock solid that I'll just leave that. Because at the end of the day, there's not just that song. There's another three songs right behind it. And they're all based in Newcastle upon Tyne, which is a city I love. And thanks very much.